students let us discuss some more problems related to dissolution uh, piecemeal distribution of cash so this is the problem a b c were partners sharing profits in the ratio 2 is to 2 is to 1 their balance sheet as on that day of dissolution was as follows uh, see creditors 50000 ace loan 25000 and capital accounts and the asset side is there see uh, the difference between this problem and the previous problem which we have solved in the previous you know uh, video is that like in the previous video we had only capitals uh, no other liabilities but in this we have two more liabilities the one is in the form of creditors the other one is in the form of ace loan okay now see as i mentioned earlier the procedure of piecemeal distribution first we give it to the creditors maybe a secured creditor if there are two types of creditors secured creditors and unsecured creditors then first we have to give it to the uh, secured creditors and then we have to give it to the unsecured creditors so in this case we have given only creditors so first we have give to we have to give it to the creditors and then we have to give it to the uh, loan yes loan then uh, the remaining amount has to be distributed among the uh, partners okay fine so the assets are realized are like given like this uh, the stages there are three stages of realization first stage 60000 is realized second stage 70000 realized and third stage 1 lakh is realized now let us show the cash you know, distribution of cash under surplus cash method cash method as we all this we have to find out the surplus cash calculation of surplus cash you know how to prepare the table for that so this is the table so now there are three partners a b and c the ratios of each one of them is like 2 is to 2 is to 1 so this is the ratio of profit sharing now let us take the opening balance so the capital balance as per the balance sheet is uh, given 1 lakh 25000 75000 and 25000 now let us find out the uh, capital that is uh, uh, you know as per the uh, capital as per uh, unit of profit so capital of uh, between a b and c in their profit sharing ratio their profit sharing ratio 2 is to 2 is to 1 see as i mentioned in the previous uh, uh, video too see this is not according to the ratio so for this sake what you have to do is you have to maintain you know, to maintain this ratio uh, capital in this ratio uh, we have to divide these capitals by the respective ratios and find out which partner's capital as per unit of profit is the least okay now look at here 1 lakh 25 divided by 50000 is equal to how much we get so 50 uh, 62500 62500 okay this person 37500 37000 uh, 500 whereas this person 12,500 so 12,500 37,500 and 62,500 so which one is least C's capital is least C's capital as per unit of profit is least so that is taken as the base so C's capital as per unit of profit is uh, uh, 12,500 that is taken as the base here so 12 sorry 25000 not uh, 12000 so 25000 divided by 1 is equal to 25000 not 12000 sorry so 25000 into 1 25000 25000 into 2 50000 25000 into 2 50000 hope you got it okay now let us find out the balance due so therefore the sorry not balance due capital surplus capital uh, in case of A, we have uh, 1 lakh 25 minus 50, 75,000. And in case of B, we have 75,000 minus uh, 50,000, 25,000. Now, among these two, again, uh, if you look into the uh, realized uh, portion, uh, realized uh, the stages of realization, the amount in the first realization is not enough to pay the um, uh, surplus capital of both uh, the partners together. Okay. So therefore what we have to do is we have to again find out the surplus capital among these two who is having surplus capital between these two okay their ratio is okay now their capital should be in the ratio 25 uh, 2 is to 2 okay so therefore for that what you have to do is you have to again divide these uh, capitals by their ratio, ratios 75,000 divided by 2 is equal to how much you get 37,500 
and here 25,000 divided by 2 is equal to 12,500. So which one is least? 12,500 as a least. So therefore we have taken B surplus capital per unit of profit that is 12,500 as a base. So 12,500 into 2 is equal to 25,000. 12,500 into 2 is equal to 25,000. Okay, now you find out the surplus capital. Okay, now we have only A who is having surplus capital. So what we have to do is first we have to pay this. Of course, before that we have to pay to the creditors as well as A's loan. Then we have to give it to A's surplus 50,000. Then from the remaining balance or uh, from the next stage of realization, we have to give the remaining balance of A, surplus capital of A and this 25,000. Look at here. Once if you pay 50,000, what is the balance left out of the surplus of A? It is 25,000 and in case of B, it is 25,000. So here, what is the total surplus in the first stage? 50,000. After paying this 50,000, then we have to distribute the remaining realized value according to their new profit sharing ratio. After you pay this uh, entire amount of 1 lakh, the capital will be like 50,000, 50,000 and 25,000. So the, your capital will be, the partner's capital will be like this. So uh, that is how we have to understand this. Okay, is that clear to you? So first we have to pay 50,000, then here 25,000 and here 25,000, 50,000. So totally how much you are paid? 1 lakh. Then after paying this 1 lakh surplus capital, the capital of the partners will be in the ratio to 2 is to 2 is to 1 or they will be 50,000, 50,000 and 25,000. From there onwards, whatever surplus left, sorry, whatever, uh, yeah, surplus realized value is left. So that has to be distributed according to their capital ratio or which is also, it is also the profit sharing ratio. Okay, now let us do that. Okay. So in this, according to the previous problem, we had only the partner's column, but here since we have two more li obligations, uh, liabilities, creditors and A's loan, so we have to open two more columns here. Okay, now let us uh, write the balance, balance as per the balance sheet. So 50,000 creditors, uh, A's loan 25,000 and 1,25,000 A, then 75,000 B and 25,000 C. Okay, now uh, let us uh, make the payment out of the first realization of rupees 60,000. So we'll pay that to creditors 50,000. So now the balance due is in case of creditors it is fully paid, so zero balance. So the others balance remaining as it is. Now payment made to A's loan out of the first realization. Look at here. First realization uh, we have paid uh, see uh, 50,000 here. So look at here, 50,000 here, therefore 60,000 minus 50,000 is equal to 10,000. That has to be given to A's loan account. So what is the balance left now? Balance due. So creditors wiped up. So um, A's loan only 15,000 is left and remaining partners capital remaining as it is. Now payment made to A's loan out of second realization of rupees cash is 70,000. In the second realization we have a cash of rupees. 70,000 and out of that uh, 15,000 is paid to A. Okay, fine. So now balance due. Okay, balance due, therefore, uh, in case of A, so loan fully paid, so no balance. Remaining partners' capital remain, uh, balances uh, remaining same. Okay, found. Now, payment made towards the surplus capital of A out of the balance of second realization. What is the surplus of A? 50,000. So now we have the money from the uh, second realization, the balance of second realization. So how do you get the balance of second realization? This 70,000 minus this 15,000 is equal to 55,000 is there. But how much we need to pay uh, to A as well uh, for his surplus, 50,000 surplus he has. So therefore the balance due is, in case of A it is 75,000 and uh, B 75,000 and C 70 25,000 okay now uh, see this is not in this ratio here it is 25,000 75 and these are two okay they'll be in the same ratio one is to one but here it is 25,000 so now the ratio is like here it is 
3 is to 3 is to 1 okay so that means again these two people have the surplus and that should be paid first and then they'll become to they'll come to the ratios okay according to the profit sharing ratio now so out of uh, the second realization so 55000 uh, out of 55000 50000 is paid here so how much balance is left 5000 balance is left look at here 5000 balance is left so that has to be shared between the partners a and b because they are having the surplus here what is the surplus remaining now oh, 50000 so a has a surplus of oh, 50000 uh, 25000 and b also have a surplus of 25000 if you see the first table it's clear there okay fine i've already explained there so that should be this 5000 should be distributed equally because the ratio is 2 is to 1 so 2500 2500 now let us find out the balance due balance due therefore a 7200 b 7200 and c remaining same as it is okay then payment made towards the surplus capital of a and b out of the third year realization the third realization uh, realizes an amount of rupees uh, 1 lakh cash so so that should be uh, yeah mm, the surplus what is the remaining surplus here uh, 20 he had a surplus of 25000 this person also had a surplus of 25000 so out of 25000 2500 is left, given so then uh, mm, what is the remaining balance 25500 each is that clear so now we distribute that so that the okay a 50000 b 50000 and c 25000 it's clear that the surplus of a and b is already fully paid so therefore they are look at here 25000 is equal to 1 50000 is equal to 50000 is equal to 2 so they are according to the profit sharing ratio 2 is to 2 is to 1 now from here onwards uh, you have to make payment to all the three partners according to their profit sharing ratio or according to the capital uh, ratio because both are same capital ratio is also 2 is to 1 2 is to 2 is to 1 profit sharing ratio is also 2 is to 2 is to 1 from this uh, stage onwards okay fine so payment made towards the surplus capital of abc out of uh, the balance of third realization okay uh, here it is not sorry it's not surplus capital towards the capitals of abc okay 1 lakh minus uh, 45000 because 45000 was used earlier out of 1 lakh in the previous stage so remaining is 55000 that should be distributed among these three partners on the ratio 2 is to 2 is to 1 okay that is distributed now the remaining balance is called as the realization loss 28000 28000 14000 look at the magic here so here also the ratio is same 2 is to 2 is to 1 14 is equal to 1 28 is equal to 2 28 is equal to 2 yeah okay. fine now let us work out one this is the problem ramesh satish and prakash were in partnership sharing profits in the ratio 5 is to 3 is to 2 so this is the balance sheet here one more addition information is there reserve fund okay see as you all know this is not a liability so this is an, am this is an amount goes to the uh, uh, owners or uh, yeah equity shareholders in case of joint stock company uh, so now this has to be okay in the balance as per the balance sheet when we write immediately after that this 10,000 is to be distributed between the partners according to their profit sharing ratio and therefore this is going to become this 10,000 is going to become a part of the capital of the owners okay so when we make the payment so including this 10,000 has to be paid but it's clear to you so this is the process of realization 30,000 in the first stage second stage 73 last stage 47,000 now let us first find out the surplus okay uh, capital balance as per the balance sheet 45,000 12,000 43,000 okay for that you have to add reserve fund of rupees 10,000 according to their ratio 5 is to 3 is to 2 so it comes to 5 3 2 total 10,000 okay now let us find out the balance capital balances so 50,000 45 plus 5 so 50 12 plus 3 15 43 plus 2 45 so now uh, let us find out the surplus capital oh, I know uh, to find out the surplus capital you have to find out uh, their capital as per uh, unit of profit and find out who is having least uh, capital as per unit of profit so what for that what you have to do 50,000 divided by 5 
is equal to 10,000. 15,000 divided by 3, 5,000. 45,000 divided by 2, how much we get? 22,500. Among these three, who is having the least capital as per unit of profit? It is Satish because 5. Okay. Now let us take his capital uh, as per unit of profit as the base. So 5,000 into 5, 25,000, 5,000 into 3, 15,000, 5,000 into 2, 10,000. Fine. So let us give the surplus. Surplus capital therefore, 25, 50 minus 25, 25,000, 15 minus 15, 0, 45 minus 10, 35. Again these two are having the surplus here, 25,000 and 35,000. So and now let us uh, find out uh, uh, uh how much is required okay sorry again you have to find out uh, the surplus capital between these two so for that you have to find out the capital per uh, unit of profit so again 5000 divided by 25 divided by 5 is equal to 5000 35 divided by 2 is equal to 17500 so among these 5000 and 17500 which one is least 5000 okay so now let us take ramesh capital as the base 5000 5,000 into 5, 25,000, 5,000 into 2, 10,000. Now we get the surplus only for Prakash, 25,000. Is that clear? Fine. Now let us move on. Solution, final solution. Okay, so balance as per the balance sheet is 40, 10 of these two and the remaining 45, 12 and 43. So you have to add the reserve fund of 10,000 to these partners A, B and C in the ratio 5 is to 3 is to 2. Okay, now the balance due. So 40,000, 10,000, 50,000, 15,000 and 45,000. So now let us make, make the payment to the creditors out of the first realization of cash. What is the first uh, re realized value of the first realization? 30,000. We'll pay that to creditors, 30,000. So what is the amount required? 40,000. But how much is available in the first realization? 30,000. Okay, fine. So now let us uh, find out the balance. For creditors, we have to pay again uh, 10,000 and remaining part of nothing is paid as it is. And uh, now let us move on to the second realization. So what is the amount of second realization? 73,000. Out of this 73,000, 10,000 is to be given to him because out his balance was 40,000. Out of that 30,000 is paid here. So remaining balance is 10,000. Let us pay that. So that the rebalance due is, in case of creditors, it is fully paid. Here it is 30 plus 10,000, fully paid. Then remaining partners, nothing paid, including Ramesh loan. Now let us move on to payment to the second realization, the balance amount. So out of 70,000, um, 73,000, 10,000 is, 10,000 is paid there. 10,000 is paid. So what is the remaining balance? 63,000. So out of this 63,000, let us pay Ramesh loan of 10,000. Okay. So that we get a balance like this. So creditors fully paid, Ramesh fully paid, then remaining partners, nothing is paid. Now we'll move on to the next stage. So payment made towards the surplus of Prakash out of the balance of second realization. See balance here we had 63,000, but out of 63,000, we have paid uh, 10,000 here. So what is the balance? 53,000. Out of this 53,000, the surplus of uh, uh, C sorry surplus of uh, uh, Prakash surplus of Prakash it is 25,000 surplus of Prakash 25,000 so we'll pay that so that we'll get the balance due so balance due of A 25,000 here it is 15,000 sorry balance due of uh, uh, Ramesh it is um, 50,000 then uh, Satish 15,000 and Prakash uh, 20,000 okay fine so now we have to remaining balance out of 53,000 25,000 paid there remaining is how much 28,000 okay so this uh, uh, 28,000 let us distribute according to the profit sharing ratio of these two partners which is 5 is to 2 so 28,000 divided by into 5 divided by 7 it comes to the 20,000 for uh, first person and for 8000 for the last person so that uh, we get a balance first person 50 minus 20 30000 so nothing is paid to satish 15000 is left and uh, 20000 minus 8000 12000 okay now let us make the uh, remaining balance so uh, prakash and uh, 
Ramesh. So Ramesh, what is the balance left? Prakash. In case of Ramesh, uh, Prakash, so it is five thousand. So we are supposed to give him twenty five thousand, but uh, twenty thousand is already paid. Five thousand is left for this person. What the his surplus was ten thousand, but we have paid eight thousand. Remaining balance is two thousand. Let us distribute that seven thousand out of the third realization of forty seven thousand. In the ratio five is to two, so which comes to five is to five thousand is to two and seven thousand. Okay, so therefore the balance due twenty five thousand, fifteen thousand, and ten thousand. See now the surplus is fully paid. Okay, now the balance, uh, the capital is according to the profit sharing ratio. What is the profit sharing ratio? Five is to three is to two. So ten is equal to two, fifteen is equal to three, twenty five is equal to five. So now the remaining balance of third realization. What is the remaining balance of third realization? Say forty-seven thousand minus seven thousand. See here, seven thousand is distributed to them. So remaining is forty thousand. Let us give that distribute distribute that according to the profit sharing ratio of the third part, all the three partners. So twenty thousand, twelve thousand, and eight thousand. So therefore, the remaining becomes the realization loss. Thank you.